Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. With everything being shut down... I can't remember. No. Right, now, the big problem that I've got is that the next hub upgrade allows me additional biomass burners, but at the moment... Despite the fact that I've got... Look, I can put that on, but I've actually... I've overloaded. I've got too much. Right? I've got the biomass in there. Got the biomass in there. But I got too much running. Okay? I got too many items running to be able to power everything. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to shut things down a little bit. I can have a look there. I got 100 iron ore in there. And I got 100 iron ore in there. What I'm hoping is if I go to you, and I put you on a standby, and I go to you and I put you on a standby, I can then go back through here. I need to add buildings to my to-do list via the build menu. Go to you. Turn that back on again. Alright, because I've turned the miners off. That's now working. Temporarily may not work for very long, but it is at least working at the moment. So I've got a little bit more biomass that I can craft there, which we're going to need. We'll have to go around and we'll gather up a bit more biomass. Uh, actually, that can be the next thing we do. We, we'll go and gather a bit of biomass in a minute. We'll just keep half an eye on this for a second and uh, allow a few things to accumulate. We're getting close to accumulating just about everything that we want. If we have a look in here, we've got... 100 iron rods in there which will make that up as high as we're going to want and then we have a look in here we've got 82 plates we got a fair well we yeah we do have a ways to go with those uh now that up there right we can go up there well the, the concrete will um we'll worry about that in a bit but once we've got another biomass burner once that one's up and running we'll be able to put another automated bit up there and have a concrete factory running uh, that's going to make our lives a lot easier up there and dealing with that bit and, and so on and so forth. So let's just have a look in here and we'll take our 30 concrete. We will take our 150 iron rods like that and I'll put a hundred of those in there. We won't worry about any more for a minute. We'll go over this way and we'll have a look here. Now, you can see that that is running in very, very slowly. It's running out of there fairly quick. But if you look here, we've got a hundred copper ingots in here. The wire is taking a little while to sort of accumulate, which is a bit of a nuisance. But if you look over into this one, you'll see that we're already accumulating wire there. Um, it's not really going to make much difference. We're just going to leave that go. I'm not going to do anything with it. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a hundred copper ingots out of there. And I'm going to use them over here. We'll just turn all of that into wire. That's going to be the fastest way that we can do it. So if I go to you, and then I start doing that. Um, somebody said that we might be able to increase the volume of the hammer bit down here. I don't think you can. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. I don't think it does actually give you a hammer sound. Not that I'm aware of. It, like It's just like a, a little buzzing noise that you can get in the background, but... Um, yeah, right, and, and then if I go there, I've got 400 at the moment, but biomass, we're going to need biomass, that's going to be a, quite an important thing, uh, we've only got 6 there, I'll put those in, so I've got 29 in that one, and then you over there, we've got 13, so we'll go for a little wander around, leaves are really quick and easy to get, you pick those up, you get leaves, and you also get a little bit of wood to go with it. That's great and all. And I have found, like, if you go near these cliffs, sometimes you can also find bits of timber on the floor. Uh, those coloured leaves and petals aren't going to do us a great lot of good at the moment. It'd be better if we can find a patch of timber in the ground. Like, you do get these bits where you've got timber in the ground, and that's actually really, really handy. Because the, the, the wood itself, you, you, get, you seem to get a lot more. Uh, let's just go through these. It doesn't appear that we're going to get much in the way of that. So we'll just 
run through here a minute and grab everything that we can. Okay, nothing more there. I'll just keep going with all these leaves. There, like that. More up there. More on you. There, there. Right. And then we'll go up this way. Yet more of them. I don't know what these are. Right? They look like they should be something that we can pick up. But we don't seem to be able to pick any of it up. So we've got a little bit of timber there. Like, we, we seem to be getting some, but not very much timber. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we will eventually get more timber. There's a bit more iron. Oh, wait. Sulfur? Ooh. Okay. I've not seen sulfur before. We will, we, we will pick it up, but we're not going to pick it up just at the moment. We'll leave the sulfur for now. We'll pick that up. That'll be something that we'll come back to. It'll be one of those little items that we come back to at a later date. Uh, when we need to, yeah, well, possibly when we need to, or when we're bored, when we're waiting for stuff. Right now, though, I want as many of these as I can get my grubby little paws on, because we can run out of power in a minute. Right. That's... You know what? I think that'll do. I've got loads of it. There. More. That'll do, I said. Okay, so that, that means stop picking them up, Frith. If, if you say that will do, and it, like as in that's enough, it's a good idea to stop picking them up at, at around about that point, just to show that you mean what you say. You're a man of your word, then. 59 of those, no power. That's because we have now run out of biomass. So we're going to here. Fortunately, we have biomass. We've got 175. There are 336 there. I don't actually need 336. I think you can put 200. I think you can get 200 biomass in one stack. So I'll keep going there. That's uh, 100. Right. Okay. Let's take this lot. Over around here. Uh, that one's got 16. So I'll put... Uh, yeah, you can put 200 in. And then that one over there, I will insert 200 of them. And we turn that back on. There we go. Right. We are now all caught up with our fuel and stuff. We've got... Got the, the timber and stuff that I need. The only bit that I want now is in here. No, that's all the copper in there. If we go and have a look in here. I'll take all of that spare wire. The cable is now filled up, look, see? So that's going to go up to 100 in there, and then it's not going to want any more. But we've, we've got everything. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Oh, not that side, this side. Right there. Can't double click that. You've got to double click it up here. So there's 500 to go in there, and we'll 65 in there. We've now got everything. Yes! Upgrade hub. Thank you very much. New buildings, new equipment, player upgraded. Incoming message. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature molecular analysis machine, also known as the MAM. Building biomass burner. Building space elevator. Equipment object scanner. Equipment beacon. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Okay. Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Right, so we need to build a space elevator. We've got the MAM building under there, and we have a motivational message that came through, which was really nice. I appreciated the motivational message. So we've got walls right there, so you can build structures and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, logistics, organization. We've got the storage container now. This is really cool. I like that one. Um, and then power. We've now got additional biomass burners, which we can already make. So we'll make one of them, and we will plonk that one down. Uh, biomass burners, I'm going to put these sort of here. 
And they're going to be close by what we've already got. So that I can sort of hook them into the system just here. So we'll put that one down. I don't have any more materials for another one just yet. But we will get to that. And... Right, and then we've so we've got those right there. We've got the basic equipment right here. But under special, we have the space elevator. 500 concrete, 250 plates, 400 iron rods, and 1,500 pieces of copper. That is the space elevator right there. And as you can see, it is an absolute beast of a machine. An absolute beast of a machine. So we're gonna we'll be plonking that one out there somewhere. Um, we we're not gonna have it too close to us at the moment. Uh, we don't need to worry about that one right now. Next up, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna come down here and now we've got a cable there. So we, we've got like a a, a a power line right there. So I want to get another power line and I can't because I don't have any concrete. So we're gonna have to. We will very soon be able to do some more stuff. Uh, first, I want to have a look in here. So, tier one, you've got utility, which allows us to make biofuel, a lookout tower, loads of doors, gates, and things like that. Logistics, conveyor splitter, conveyor merger, productivity display, personal storage. We get a, a box, five in inventory slots, a uh, load of stuff here with stairs and everything, so you can start really building up your base properly. Walkways, jump pads obstacle clearing we can build a chainsaw right there part assembly we've got an assembler it can be automated by feeding parts into it with a conveyor belt connected to the input this produced parts can be automatically extracted by connecting a conveyor belt to the output we've got rotor used for crafting the moving parts of a motor modular frame so like you start now you work the tier one the tier two and then you start going through the space elevator and, and building all of it, right? It takes quite a while to get through it all. And you can see you, you've got to, like, slowly increase everything as, and um, keep automating it all as well. The one that I want is the conveyor splitter and merger. That, I think, is probably the most useful item that we can build to start with. Uh, I also need a few more bits. Um, we're going to want some cable. We're going to want biomass. I haven't... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll make a bit of cable there. Like that. Uh, biomass wood, right there. I'll make that. See, wood makes loads of biomass. You get absolutely tons of this stuff. Uh, we're running out of ores. Okay, we've run out of ores over there. Uh, so the next bit that I want... Actually, I want to go into there because I want some of them. And then I want to go up here, and I want to go and grab myself some um, limestone so that we can make some concrete, which means that we can then make some pads. So I want to take those, and that's going to start working. Uh, I want to be able to make power lines. That's, that's the bit that I want to make, because I want to make some power lines. In order to be able to make the power lines, I need to come back through this way, and I need to go into here, and... Go to you, and then go to the concrete, and make all of that. So make 33 pieces of concrete. There. Okay, there we go. 33 pieces of concrete. And then I want to go up this way. And we're also going to have a look in here. This is the MAM. Okay, we can start putting these items in here, and it starts researching them. So if I put... I haven't got Paleberry, but I do have one of those... I can put ten of those in there. It's asked for ten. Begin analysis. So that will take four and a half in-game hours to go and analyze that little bit right there. And then once it's done, once it's finished doing that analysis section right there, then, you know, we get the results and we unlock a few extra little tidbits as well. So we can come out this way. And I want to build one of them. Oh, wait. No. Oh, I need a uh, couple. Uh, nope. I need copper wires. So this is still filling up in here. I got... Oh, no, it goes to 500. It stacks up 500 of them in there. So I'm going to take copper wire and I'm going to take cable as well. So I've got a load of cable and I've got a load of copper wires. There's all stuff that I want on me to be able to do a little bit of building work. Then I can put down a power pole right there like that. Okay. 
So then I'm going to go with F and I'm going to dismantle that power line and that power line. And then I'm going to take power line from there onto that one. There onto that one. There onto that one. And there onto that one there. So that one's got four power lines on it. This one's now connected up to the grid. And if I go into there, 175 of them can go in. And now I've got the biomass going into that as well. So I've now got an additional burner. I'm going to need to get some more biomass fairly soon. But I've now got an additional burner, which means I can go back over to these two and we can get them up and running. So I can go back to you and switch you back on again. You're going to start mining and you are as well. There you go. Right, that one's producing as well. So we've got everything producing. I've got everything mining. It's all doing what it's supposed to do. It's all looking great. It's absolutely looking fan schmabulous. And we're going to run up here. Oops. There. Steady. Steady does it. Look! It's all now running. We've got that one running all the way up there. And that's doing a wonderful job. And that's filling everything up over there. These are filling up really nicely here. And basically everything is doing exactly what it needs to do. So all we need to do is make sure that we've got a steady supply of biofuel. And that's the only thing that we don't have is like the, to be able to automate properly is the biofuel systems. Right? But we don't have anything sort of in place to do that. And it's something that I want to get. But before I do that, there's another thing that I want to get. Um... I want to go to you, and I want to go to organization, and I want storage containers. Now, I just need plates for those. So that's a really simple one to make. But what I also want is, under production, I want a constructor. And, ooh, well, I didn't actually realize I could make that. Okay, ideal. Uh, I'm going to bring that constructor over here. I'm going to put that one fairly close over there. That, that one's literally, we'll just dump that one there. Okay, it doesn't, need to, it doesn't need to go any further or closer or more distant or anything. And then I'm going to go for number two power. That one's already got four power lines on it. Fine. Oh, i got one off of there I can take. And pinch one off of there and that one can go onto there like that. So I've now got a constructor busy working on there. And if I go into you, this one I want to make concrete. Right there. And then oh, I'm going to need... Next up, I need uh, plates. We need lots of plates. I've got 39 plates so far. That's it. I've just got 39 plates. Current logistics milestone. I need 200 plates, 200 iron rods, and 500 copper. The copper is actually the easiest bit. So we will go into here, and then we will go into logist no, uh, organization storage container. There's 10 plates and 10 rods. So I'll take one of them. And I'm going to rotate that one round. Like that. I want that to... The MAM has completed its analysis. Okay. There. I want that to snap onto there. And... Just put that one down like that. And then I want another one to go next to it. Which is going to go over here. Uh... Where are you going to go? There. I want them both to snap together if I can. I'll put that one there. Right. So I've got a storage container off of each one. And there's a very specific reason that I want that. I'll then go, no, not number two. I want to go to number three. And I go conveyor belt. Approaching another's clearance. What? Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong way round. Idiot. Idiot. Right. Take that one out. Take that one out. I put them the wrong way round. 
Storage container. Yeah, look. See, I put them the wrong way around. So let me just do that a minute. That might be why it didn't want to... There. Now I can fasten that one onto there. And I'm going to plonk that one there. I'm, I'm doing it sort of reasonably close. Did I have... Yeah, I did. I, I did them both the wrong way around. Uh, so then if I do that, that one will bring that in... Kind of like that. That's getting both of them in pretty much lined up there, I think. And then I go... No, not number two. I want to go to number three. Conveyor belt straight into there. Perfect. Right, so that's going to put the iron rods into this conveyor belt. So you go into here, you can store all, and you can take all. Just like that. And then I think if you put a conveyor belt coming out the other end, it, um, it whether it just automatically brings the stuff out, I'm not quite sure. But we want to drop that in there as well. So that's going to put the metal plates. And that's just going to run through. Now, ideally, if you have a look, this one takes two iron ingots to make one plate. Whereas this one takes one iron ingot to make one iron rod. So in a perfect world, what we want is we want a second one of these. And that's why we're, going, we're researching the one that we're researching at the moment. Because we can put a second constructor right next to it. The iron ore that's coming out over here, that's going fast enough. Um, and... Right, if you have a look here, two iron ingots, it takes a little while for those iron ingots to come through. So really, we want a, a second system. We want to put one a splitter there. We want the iron ore to come apart and go through another smelter over here. Then through another one of them. And then we want it to join back in and feed iron plates into there. And it would all kind of do it in together. But I mean, we don't need to worry about that too much. So storage container right here. Let's just spin that around a minute. And uh, there, that's... I want that lined up like that. There, that seems to be lined up. Okay, so I'll plonk that one down there. And then I will go to number three and put that one into there like that. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to go number three up there. I want to bring you all the way down. Can't afford. Oh, I need I need more belt. I, I not belts. I need more iron pieces. Right. Well, let's just we'll we'll come back to that bit in a second. We go bouncing over this way, bouncing through here, bouncing round this way, and bouncing into there. The man has finished doing its stuff. The analysis of flower petals is completed. Please choose a new specimen in the list to begin a new analysis. Confirm. Incoming message. R&D wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. <laughs> dating and dying things i think it said but uh you 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 also you're uh, you're under surveillance <laughs> oh you got to love this game right uh so i've that's the colored petals there i've got an alien carapace here i'm going to take one of them like that put those back so i'm going to take one alien carapace and i'm going to put that in next take you and then i go to that one there like that, there. That takes seven and a half hours to analyze that one. So that's in there, busy analyzing. We can leave that one to it. We want to get some more biomass. That's something that we're going to need to work on fairly soon. Uh, iron plates was another thing that I wanted. I don't have any more biomass at the moment, so we're going to need to get that fairly soon. Uh, right, iron plates. I've got 89 iron plates. Well, that's at least enough to be able to do this bit. So we'll go up here a second and I'll go number three. And I'll bring you down. So I can't go any further than that. So what I'll do is I'm going to put that conveyor belt there. And then I'm going to go another one. That's going to go right into there like that. And then I'm going to go to you. Configure this already doing the concrete. And that's bringing down the limestone. So all I want to do now is go and get more biomass, I think. So we'll start gathering up some more leaves. I'm hopeful that we can find one of these areas that I've found previously um, that has, like, loads and loads of timber. 
Because there is, when when you find a bit that's got the timber, there is absolutely massive the stuff, right? There's loads and loads of it, and it really did make a difference. It's like it, there, there was there was tons of it, and if you can pick up all of that timber, you can make loads and loads of the biomass as well, rather than the leaves, because the leaves do take a while, right? These these are not the fastest things to to go through, because you need ten of them, and it doesn't make all that many items either. Go to there. Right, I'm, no, I'm not, I'm not going down that way. I'm going to go back up around this way. Go up through here. Go on past that lot. And just up this slope. Maybe there's something good up here. There's a tree there. Does that give me anything? No. There was a chainsaw, right? I did see a chainsaw in the, the, um, like the, the research bits. I've not uncovered the chainsaw yet. I've, that's, that's not something that I've done, and I'm not playing. I, I did build the space elevator, but that's all I did. I didn't do anything else, so I didn't really uncover anything else. I'm going to take those pale berries because we need one to research. So we'll have that, and up that way, around here, more, any more. Don't really want to go running into any of the angry natives. There are several angry natives around. We know that. We have met angry natives previously. And it didn't exactly... Well, I was going to say it didn't end well for us. But actually, technically it ended worse for them than it did for us. So I suppose we don't really need to worry about it that much. You know, we do have to be a little bit cautious with them. But overall, they're not too bad. They're a little bit feisty, I suppose. They've got issues, anger management issues that they need to work through. But overall, they're, they're not as bad as they, they could be, I suppose. Now, what else? There's some barrel... Actually, I will take those as well, because I think we also want to research some barrel nuts. That one's not grown. Uh, I don't see anything else. All right, I got that. I just got like an open plane. I've got leaves, lots and lots of leaves, but I haven't found any of those bits with the timber lying on the ground, which I'm getting a little bit disappointed about. Just in case we need ten barrel nuts, let's go and get another little notch of them there, because sometimes you need one of an item, and sometimes you need ten of an item. Get some more of these. Right, well there's masses and masses of leaves right there that makes life easy for us and there's one there and then several more over this way like that right it's probably a little bit twitchy on the screen me sort of jumping backwards and forwards gathering loads of this stuff as well there is a few leaves gathered when i say a few how many have i got tab uh 500 i've got over a thousand and there we have it folks i'm afraid i'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time so if you've enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later